Hello again. Today's project is a table lamp. Um, I'm going to try and make it from this rather nice uh, whiskey bottle. This is an Edradau bottle that I was given. Uh, unfortunately it came without its contents but that can't be helped. It's got a really thick heavy base and the the label on here isn't actually a stuck on label it's 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 etched into the glass itself which is quite nice so it's a really nice bottle i'm going to try and use that as the base for a table lamp i've got a few of the parts i don't have all of the parts i need yet i'm gonna to have to get some more but the first stage of this is going to be to drill a hole in the back of this bottle to allow the cable to pass through and power the light and drilling glass is a fraught operation at the best of times and it's something I've never had any success with. I've tried this before and haven't got anywhere. Just broken the bottle. So I'm going to try that first before I order any more parts and, and see how that goes. So the first stage is to put down something to try and contain the ground glass that's going to be produced because I don't really want that everywhere. And then we'll see if we can drill a hole in a glass bottle. Okay, so I've got some uh, masking paper down on the table. I've also made this cradle out of uh, some MDF to hold that up there, just to hold the bottle and try and grip it a bit, because it's not going to fit in a vise. And I've also discovered that the cable grommet that I was going to use is a 10 millimeter hole. And I've only got six millimeter and eight millimeter drill bits. So that's something else I need to order. Uh, this, I've got to stand this on a piece of wood because the table's too high. So this should go on here and hopefully that's going to do the job. And I think the secret here is going to be to go slowly and it's going to take a long time there's a very bad joke about boring there somewhere but um this will take a long time let's see how this goes and let's see whether the bottle survives the ordeal smell that's getting quite hot now so I'm going to let that cool off. I don't want to take the edge off the drill bit. definitely gets hot very quickly. I'll give it a minute. I don't know how thick this glass is. I can't tell how far through I am. I'll let that cool down and we'll see. glass is obviously quite thick um, and through oh at least an eighth of an inch so far I think and it's still going so there's obviously it's, it's quite a serious piece of glass. I've just realized that the ground glass powder is accumulating down the side here 
That's probably scratching the glass of the bottle. I should probably have cleaned that out rather sooner. That's finally starting to uh, break through now, so I'll let the drill cool off again and see if I can get this first hole finished. I'm trying to go really gently now because it's the last little bit and I don't want it to suddenly snatch and crack the bottle. If it starts to twist or uh, chatter now, I could have a problem. Success. It broke off a tiny piece on the inside. I don't know whether, you, whether that's visible on the camera, but a fairly neat hole just split a little bit off on the inside, which is unfortunate, but probably unavoidable. So that's the six millimeter hole. Now I need to open it up to eight. There's a lot of vibration there and that's giving a very, it's actually chipping pieces off the edge of the hole as it goes round. I don't like that. Try this drill that runs a bit slower. It's a very fine glass powder that's coming off there, which I shouldn't be breathing, so... Time for a respirator. Not quite as neat now, but there's a an eight millimeter hole now. So I think that proves the point. Hello again. It's about a week later now from the previous part of the video. Uh, the new drill bit I ordered arrived along with the other bits and pieces I needed. So I've got on this morning, I didn't film it, but uh, I've got the hole now enlarged to 10 millimeters in, there, in the bottle. It's, again, it's chipped out a bit more on the inside. I don't really know how to get a clean drilling on something like that, but I'm hoping that's not going to show too badly when, uh, when it's finished. The little cable entry grommet that I've, I've got, try and hold it where the camera can see it, now fits in, the, in there. I think that'll press in 
quite nicely. I'm not going to press it in yet because I want to finish cleaning the bottle. Get all the little uh, glass particles out of there. So, the next job is this uh, quite nice stopper that came with the bottle. I want to drill a hole through the centre of there, right through the cork, so that the lamp holder will fit on the top and the cable can come through. I'm hoping that's going to work. I'm not quite sure I'm going to fix to the top of this because I'm assuming that's cork all the way through. This may be made out of something else on the top, I can't really tell. Feeling at it, maybe that's not cork. That feels a bit harder, but I can't tell. I may be able to just screw into that, or I might have to uh, glue something on, but we'll see how that works. So, find the centre of this, drill a hole through it, refit it to the bottle. In actual fact, this... And I put it, put it back on. It's a bit of a loose fit, so I may have to do something about that as well along the way. Anyway, that's the plan for today. So, it turns out that the centre finder attachment I've got on this uh, combination square is massively inaccurate. It's way off, which is unhelpful. So, I'm going to have to try and make a jig to accurately drill the centre of this. I've got some ideas how to do this, so I'll give it a go and, uh, and see what I come up with. That was nearly right. Unfortunately, I was hoping that would fit in there and give me a, a hole on the back to, to guide the centre, but that hasn't quite gone to plan. That's not a terrible fit now. The hole is now not quite round, but yeah, that might do the job. Right, so screw these back together. That way around. So with a bit of luck, the uh, stopper will fit in this side here, and that hole in the centre I can drill through, and that will be the centre of the uh, of the stopper. Something like that.
Hmm. That wood's not really thick enough to keep that aligned. But I think the idea is sound. Let's try it, see what happens. Well, it's not in the centre at that end, but with a bit of luck, we're nicely in the centre at that end. The top of this actually turns out to be what appears to be MDF. Certainly a bit more solid than cork, so maybe I can screw the lamp holder onto that. That'll be good. I need a slightly bigger hole though. I'll get the cable and find out exactly what size I do need. And that's the cable I'm going to be using. Looks like a 7mm hole will be clearance for that. Well, that's not up to much. Let's see if I've got a sharp 7mm drill bit. Oh, that's better. cork is closing up slightly, so I'll need to go a slightly bigger size. Hmm, that should do it. Okay, I've cleaned up the bottle now, I washed it all out and got rid of the the glass particles and dirt and so on. So that's that's looking a lot better. I need to just try and assemble this now. Put the grommet in, feed the cable. Uh, I need to fix the little. This is where the, what the uh, lamp holder fits on. Just so that has to go on the on the top of there. Try and assemble the whole lot, and then hopefully it's into the last round and finally assembling the thing. So first stage I think is to fit that little uh, brass fitting onto the top of this stopper. So I think if I use this drill bit I can align that on there and mark some holes. If I put that in the top of the bottle Oh, I should say, I think I solved the loose fit problem just by putting a couple of wraps of uh, plumber's PTFE thread seal tape around here. I'm not sure whether that will be the long-term answer, but it seems to work and it's easily removed if I decide to do something different. So that now fits quite nicely in there. That's aligned. So let's make a hole either side. Like that. Well, 
These screws might be a little bit large, but I think they're the smallest ones I've got. Yeah, they're a bit big. Let me see if I've got anything smaller. Oh, yes. These are really small screws. Let's see if they'll grip into the top of this. Whatever it is made out of. Of course, that's now the wrong screwdriver as well. Good, that's gripped nicely. And the hole in the centre, you might be able to see that, is nicely lined up for between the brass and the wood underneath, so hopefully the cable will pass through without any problem. So that was straightforward. Just put these away. Next job is this cable grommet down here. Hopefully this is just a push fit. That's a really nice fit actually. I like that. Now eventually I'm going to have to What I have is this coloured sand, which I want to fill the bottle with. This will not only add more weight and hopefully prevent the thing falling over so easily, but being that, that dark burgundy colour, I'm hoping the etched glass uh, label on the front of here will stand out better. So that's the, the eventual plan. Of course, when I put the cable in, I'm going to have to seal this, otherwise the sand's just going to run out again. And I just looked, and of course I haven't got any sealant. I've <laughs> used the last of what I had. So I may or may not be able to finish this, but uh, we'll see. That's for, for later. For now, I just want to trial assemble this without the sand, and see how it goes. So I'll thread this. in there. See if I can get it to come out the top. Oh yes, that was uh, that was easy. Now what I need to know to do is to know that's got to go through there and into there. I don't want too much slack because when I push it back I don't want it all wound up in there. But there has to be enough slack so that I can actually fit this and then put the top on. So somewhere there. So if I mark that point at the bottom. Like that. And then pull it through. Apparently it's easier said than done. There we go. So there's a strain relief here. And that's actually going to take up some space, so I'll just leave a bit extra beyond my mark. And then pull that back and hopefully that's going to be long enough. No, I've not quite left enough there. Let's, uh, let's do that again.
That's better. I can always trim a bit off the end if uh, if necessary. Right, so that goes in there. Yes, that can go straight in. That's a little cover plate, the same colour as the lamp holder. It just covers up the brass. That was more parts than I expected. That goes on there. that's the terminals for the wiring if I can do that without actually wiring it just tuck that in there for now fits one way round. Okay, well that proves the point anyway. So that is more or less what it's going to look like. I can think that's about right. The cable inside is dragging on the side of the bottom which I prefer it to run up the centre, and then the sand will cover it. What's next? I think I need to wire this properly now. And it's, uh, well, seal the hole, and then it's ready for the sand. Take all this off again. No, I can leave that part on. Ah, now, when I take... Once I've wired this, I need enough slack to be able to take the whole thing off. That's interesting. Ah, and my plumber's tape has now come off there, so that didn't really help. Although, I won't be taking the lid off very often, so maybe that's, uh, maybe that's okay. I'll redo that. Yeah, I think that'll work. Right, now I'm going to get on and wire that lamp holder. And put the plug on the other end. And then I'll come back for the uh, last part. Well, I didn't get finished last night, it's now the next morning. I did get the uh, electrics wired into this, get the cable wired in, I've got a plug on the other end, and I sealed the, uh, the cable grommet here with some black sealant in the end, which turned out to be a good idea. When I said yesterday I didn't have any sealant, I was thinking glass needs clear sealant, but of course the cable grommet is black, and so that worked really well. Uh, oh, I also put another wrap of tape around the cork so that should fit again now. Today's job then is to first of all test this, just make sure it all works, I haven't actually tried it yet, and then fill the, the bottle with sand and do the final assembly. So first thing is a test for which I need a light bulb. Convenient to have on the hand, isn't it? Huh. Well, that's a good sign. Okay. On with the final assembly then.
Managing to get sand everywhere, of course. I'm hoping the cable will run up the middle of here and not press against the glass so there's just the sand showing. This is uh, coloured decorative sand. Um, you can buy it from art suppliers. I think that will do it. And there it is. So uh, we just need a shade. This may not be the uh, this may not be the shade I use eventually, but I I had it lying around so. It will do for the purposes of illustration. Closer. Yeah, <laughs> I think it needs a slightly larger shade. And uh, there you have it. A table lamp made from a whiskey bottle. Thank you for watching. I'll be back soon with another video.